I'm going to tell everybody in the NFL that I talk to you. You need to be I appreciate playing. that, Coach. You bet. You're great, you coach. deserve it. Man. One thing for sure, two things for certain. Mike Brown ain't playing no games, y'all. The Cincinnati Bengals just signed two of the best players from the UFL this past week. Cornerback Nate Brooks and the UFL Offensive Player of the Year, wide receiver Hakeem Butler. Now, if you have been following my channel for years, then you will recall a video I made back on Hakeem Butler in 2019, making a case for why the Seattle Seahawks should draft him to give Russell Wilson some help. They decided to take DK Metcalf and well, the rest is history. Statistically speaking though, Nate Brooks and Hakeem Butler numbers aren't impressive compared to what you would want from an NFL free agent or draft pick, but the UFL only plays a 10 game regular season schedule, so I guess we should cut them a little slack. Just looking at some of the clips available on cornerback Nate Brooks, he seems to have good size for the position in place with good depth in his own scheme. Last season, the Cincinnati Bengals kept six cornerbacks on their 53 man roster. This year, with former safety Dax Hill making the transition to play cornerback, along with DJ Turner, Cam Taylor Britt, Mike Hilton, and rookie cornerback Josh Newton. Those five spots should be guaranteed. With the last spot available, Nate Brooks will have to battle with cornerbacks Jalen Davis, Allen George, and DJ Ivy, who actually made the 53 last season. Unless Mike Hilton completely falls off a cliff athletically, being already not the biggest, not the fastest cornerback, Nate Brooks may have a long shot to make the 53. If anything, training camp should be positively intense in the sense that, yeah, they all fighting for the same spot, but iron sharpens iron. And for the Bengals, the man that wins that job will be battle tested and ready to make an impact on the team at some point this season. Now, with Hakeem, he reminds me of former Bengals wide receiver Auden Tate. Big body, great catch radius, and also great at making contested catches. The only knock on his game is the ability to separate. If the Bengals use Hakeem Butler in a flex, tight end type position, I believe he could flourish and actually be the offseason steal of the National Football League. And I know some Bengals fans are going to say, what about Mike Isecki or the other tight ends they just drafted? Listen, I get it. But Hakeem being 6'6", six six, with T. Higgins and Mikey G, that red zone offense is going to be damn near a cheat code. And just based off what the front office did last season, I expect them to keep six wide receivers on the roster as well. Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, Rookie Jermaine Burton and second year wide receivers Andre Yoshifus and Charlie Jones should all be guaranteed to make the team. That's five, with one spot available. Trent Irwin has been with the organization for a few years now, so he knows the ins and outs. Cedric Jackson is a wide receiver I'm still very intrigued about due to his speed and how he played last season. The Bengals also brought back wide receiver Kendrick Pryor, who showed promise in the 2022 preseason. I get it, it's just preseason. But if a player is making plays with the reps he's earned, I gotta respect it. Lastly, I really hope, as a Bengals fan, that Zach Taylor envisions Hakeem Butler in this offense with Joe Burrow throwing him the football on the same field with Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, and or whatever combination of weapons this team has at their disposal. Nonetheless, this preseason should be fun to watch, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop the who days in the comment section. It's BSO513, and I approve this message. I'm out.